All right, Hanamura. This is Meta Athena's last pick, I guess, of maps because they're out of map picks because they lost the first two maps. But now if they want to win, they're going to have to concede all of the picking back to Lunatic High because they're on match point from now on. Um, Hanamura is kind of a toss up. Lunatic High runs, they do run the Toby Orbjorn a lot. I don't know what their plan is. I see Eska and Lucio speed boosting a Torbout. Like, is that a thing? Is there a reason for that? I don't think so. Is Eska going to stay Lucio here? Maybe. That'd be sick if they try some crazy thing. But at the same time, it's kind of game losing if you're putting your DPS player on Lucio. I don't know what the plan is. Maybe Toby's just like a Torbjorn god and nope, Eska's going to switch. Okay. So I'm not sure why they even did that. Like, what was the logic? I'm, the cooldown doesn't help either. I don't even like this gun placement. I feel like he tried so hard to get that gun in that spot, but I'm not sure how sick of a spot that is. Strategically, uh, they are just not as good at attacking that back line. Ooh, Libero last minute switch is a They're Libero dropping liquid Adderall. Maybe. Maybe just for that sonic arrow, but one can dream. Has anyone ever gone for a spawn camp there? What was that for? Okay, so Medathena is running this weird comp. This is a really weird comp. I kind of like it if they can get the D.Va through, but it's relying on the D.Va getting through. There's a lot of spam from Lunatic High, actually. Eska should have a field day. The Torbjorn should have a field day. Um, so the gun's down again. Like, I don't know why the gun was there. Saya player just kind of playing chicken with who are you. Really well played by Libero there and Chris. That's a really big kill. They should just regroup. This is smart. Just like slow the game down now if you're Meta Athena and just like start working your picks. Because that tran that Discord orb is actually so strong right now. I like I like that they try this. Like a lot of teams would never try this. Like a Lucio Rhineless comp. And this is the second map in a row that they've done it. And like it's working, which is what's scary. Because like they take it very slow and methodical like they're supposed to. They're not trying to like blast through the choke. They just kind of like come through. At the same time, I think Lunatic High is not playing it as correct. But I think it has a lot to do with Lunatic High's composition. Because they're not running Roadhog. Um, so there's not a lot of punish for stuff like this. Like generally if someone's walking at you at base move speed with no Lucio, Roadhog would be so good, but they don't run it. Because they don't have like a natural Roadhog player. Like I don't think Lunatic High runs Roadhog almost at all. They always run Zumba on Diva Genj or Diva Zarya, and they always run Eska on McCree 76 May or something. Um, so this is very, I guess it's like, abusive from Meta Athena, like that's their plan, they just want to abuse that fact, and it's working here, um, because there's not really heroes to punish it. So they force out Trans from Chris, High Noon from Saya Player, gets Jaehong, that's a huge kill. Jaehong had ult actually, <sighs> Saya Player, Saya God. They're playing really well, there should be a free cap, I think. I'm not sure how they hold this. I mean, they're gonna have nano boost, but there's really no good nano targets. And Miro's not even playing Winston, which I think is a mistake, because his Reinhardt's not even, I mean, his Reinhardt's not like game winning, I guess. But Saya player being up here is so scary, actually. Like, someone has to come up here and deal with him, and Libero's going nuts in the background. This is a really nice push from Meta Athena. Like, very, very well executed, actually. And again, I think it has a lot to do with Lunatic High not having a strong Reinhardt and not having a strong Roadhog. The fact they haven't gotten a tick yet is kind of insane to me. That was Toby on Tracer, so they're not actually, they're actually just not running a Lucio now. Solo Shatter on the Hog, I don't know if that was worth it. If, if Libero lives here, which he does, I think Saya Player just, just got Nano Boosted and just popped a 2k. Saya Player is going absolutely nuts right now. It sucks for Zumba too, because like Zumba can't deal with the... Like, you can't block the point and deal with the McCree. Like, Saya player having this positioning is actually so good. And that Discord Orb is so scary. Like, Chris and Saya player being up on the high ground the entire time. I think even Noose was at the high ground the entire time. Still is. Like, I like the positioning there from them. That was very, very clean. Like, that was almost, like, as good as you can get, I think, at running 2CP maps. Um, in terms of, like, abusing the enemy team and stuff. And I guess that's why Meta Athena is so good is I think they're one of the few teams that will like pick compositions that like realistically aren't that good but abuse the trends of their enemy. So like I don't know that that works like their composition would work against 
a team with like a stronger Reinhardt or a stronger Roadhog. Like I honestly think a good Roadhog would have shut down that entire meta Athena composition. But Lunatic High just straight up did not go Roadhog. Like nobody picked Roadhog. I think anyone could have picked Roadhog and it would have done so much work. But I think Meta Athena is banking on the fact that Lunatic High just has not picked Roadhog. And like they probably went back and looked and said like, oh, Lunatic High 0% win rate on Roadhog. Sick. But it's not really wacky is the thing. Like it's wacky in a vacuum, but it's not wacky in the context of playing against Lunatic High. And they're running no Reinhardt as well. They're running super defensive. I'm going to hold second point comp. Um, although I guess that there's better heroes, you could argue for that. Do they really want these heroes? I do like Chongsik on the Winston. It's just good. I think that they're banking on Lunatic High not running Reinhardt. And that's why they're like kind of playing chicken with it. Realistically, Metathena's comp is good if you're sure that Lunatic High is not running the Rhine. Or the Hog, even. And I guess if you're confident, too, in Saya player's abilities to DM Eska, it's fine. It's it's different, but it's not the end of the world. Because I think a Reinhardt would get destroyed by the Eska, Miro, Jehong combo. But I mean, first point, you expect Lunatic High to cap no matter what, right? Baited. Booked, red, easy. Meanwhile, Chongsik does get in on the back lines, but that over the Discord is certainly something to worry about. Has to back away. Chongsik doing damage. What's he up to? 25% alt side player just going in for free damage. Or you kill Zibro, surprisingly. Um, I'm not sure why they engaged there on Meta Athena. I don't know why they tried to take the fight into the room. Like, it was never going to work. It didn't really make... I don't know why they engaged there. Metathena makes, like, really odd mistakes. Or, like, they have really weird... Their strategy is, like, cool and stuff. But, like, they make really weird calls. Like, their offense made a lot of sense. That defense, though, the way that they just played that. Like, I actually don't know how a Roadhog dies to a Genji in a game where you have an Ana and, like, heals and all this other stuff. It's just weird positioning, I think. But now Meta Athena is still decently fine because Lunatic High won that fight pretty fast, so the ult advantage isn't really in their favor. Like, both teams don't have ult, and that's really good if you're defense. There's, like, a weird line where you actually want to lose the fight as fast as possible on defense if you can, and that's kind of what happened there. Because there's no real ult advantage for Lunatic High. Now they're going to come out with Dragon Blade. They have, like, a small window right now where maybe Huayu could get something done. But Chunk Six chasing around the map, and it's really good. Chongsik has monkey ult, he doesn't want to pop it, dies. I like that he dies here because he knows that he can just use the primal rage if there's ever a time right now where Lunatic High looks like they're winning the point. Um, especially as you see like Lunatic High popping all these ults. Realistically, Chongsik can come out of spawn, pop primal rage, delay this point, and then the rest of the team can spawn with Chris and pop sound barrier. I don't know if Chris actually needed to pop sound barrier there. I think a lot of teams are not so good at what's the word like predicting the way the game's gonna flow i think if chunksick could have just came out with the monkey ult the rest of the team could have came out of spawn as five and sound barrier at all five like that was definitely a possible scenario but lunatic high's composition is not really that good and again like if libero hits a hook like this push is dead and that's really why i think the roadhog is so good and that's a huge hook like that's it that's all he needed like look in the back chunksick gets a 2k or a 1k on jayhong but all they needed was a hook and this is really all that needed to happen for lunatic high last round it doesn't matter how much healing you have if Roadhog hooks you, you just kind of die. And now Hoon comes up on the May just to stall, but I don't even know if they really need it. They need to kill this Zumba Diva though. If this Diva gets alt, that's bad. Hoon kills Zumba and this pushes over. And like that's kind of, that's the, that's the strength of the Roadhog. It's it actually doesn't have anything else to do with like I don't even know that you need to be the best Roadhog in the game. You just need to be like decent. If you hit a single hook, it stops the entire push because suddenly it's five v six. The alt start coming back, but it's interesting actually that Jaehong opts to stay on the Zenyatta because I don't really like Trans that much in terms of trying to cap this point, especially when you don't have a Reinhardt because it's like it's not like hitting 
an Ana nuke is hard, especially when there's not a Reinhardt in the game. Um, I'm surprised that Eska actually went for that Pulse Bomb on the Nano Boosted Full Health Diva. It's kind of a waste, I think, but... I, again, like, I don't really know if Lunatic High has a composition that's strong enough to win this. Like, they have to severely outplay Meta Athena, and I don't think Meta Athena is a team that you can, like, severely outplay. And I think that Meta Athena, like, they went to this map on purpose, because... I don't, I don't know what the other map was in the pool. It was probably, like... I'm assuming Volskaya or Anubis, but... I mean, side player's dead. They're gonna pop everything, but again, Libero hits one hook, it's GG. So now we just wait. So Nuss killed Jaehong there? And Jaehong never popped trans. And nobody's on the point right now. So again, like, Lunatic High has to team wipe, but they don't have team wipe heroes. And Metathena just needs to exist, and they have very good exist heroes. That's like the, I mean, that's Overwatch in a nutshell, right? Like, offense has to get kills, defense has to live. And Metathena is definitely running a composition that will live. They have Tracer, Lucio, Winston, Divas, like, Soundbarrier comes out on five people, Nano Boost comes out on Tracer. Like, I don't know how Lunatic High plans on getting team wipes, because they're not running Nano Boost. They don't have Ana Nuke. They don't have, like, a lot of things that I think that you would want. They don't have Graviton. They don't have Earth Shatter. Um, this fight's like irrelevant to me because all that matters is is anyone going to make a play that's going to get a multi kill on Meta Athena? And if the answer is no, they're actually just going to lose and it's going to take a long time. Whole Hog counters the Nano Blade. Noose kills Toby. Like honestly, that kill on Toby is like that. Like the push is actually pretty much dead now. It's a compositional thing, like Doa says right there, like they're not winning the fights decisively enough, but I don't know how they plan to. Again, like who are you needs to pop off for them to do this? And like that hook, that's again the hook. That They look like they had a window there, the hook just canceled the entire thing. This is pretty much Overwatch in a nutshell. Jumped on there, Toby wanted to use that soldier to rush back to the point for a fight that he thought his team was going to win. A late kill on Zimba too, so that's yeah, Do they switch? Nope. I, I, like, I, I don't want to say the problem is Jaehong or Zumba, but like, if they were running Ana and Zarya here, this game would be so much easier. Because they could Graviton, they could go for Pulse Bombs, they could Nano Boost, who are you, Genji? But there's like... Like even here, Chongsik's just abusing Jaehong, and like Jaehong's dead, just pushes over. He was Ana, maybe he gets a sleep dart off? I mean, like, I'm making excuses for them, or like, I'm trying to like, find a way for them to win, but realistically, Metathena has to mess up so hard for this to work. And who are you needs to have like, the craziest game of his life, because Eska and Miro do not have enough damage to get through Ana, Roadhog, Winston, Genji, Tracer, Lucio, like, it's actually insane. And I think that this, like, I mean, Tavik made that tweet yesterday, like, do NA teams even practice 2CP? What are these comps? Like, I actually feel that way right now about Lunatic High's composition. I think it's really bad for this map. See, Chris has barrier. I'm just, yeah, there's the pop. And there's a hook. Again, like, a hook. It's literally a hook. A hook kills who are you. There's no more Dragon Blade. They're popping all these ults, but they don't have a Genji. And Genji's so much of their damage right now, especially with the Dragon Blade. Pulse Bomb kills Libero. I mean, the clock is ticking. Even if they do somehow miraculously win this fight, they're going to run out of time, I would imagine. Chongsik can pop ult now. And again, like the Winston. How do you kill a Winston with Primal? Oh my god. If he fell off the map, I was going to be so mad. That was really well played, though. He got Toby and he survives. They're popping Whole Hog to deal with Who Are You's Genji. That's the second time in a row that they've done that. I'm assuming it's intended. It's really smart. Like... It's probably one of the better counters, I think. Metathena's doing a good job right now, though, of just killing the clock. And that's like, all right, here we go. It's over. It's GG. It doesn't even matter. Four and a half minutes to cap point one is more than enough. Even if they do somehow miraculously win this fight, which I'm still not convinced that they're going to, um, they don't have time for second point. And this is like a hundred percent compositional issue. There they go, OT ticking away. No, they still got someone. There we go. Now finally ticking away. And they may have done it. GG. They have done it. Meta Athena stays alive in this.